Hello everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at oil paint effect in Photoshop. How you can get this sort of oil paint effect in Photoshop with just no effort. You can get this effect by just one click. Yes, you heard me right, by just one click. Alright, let's see how to do this. First of all, download the file from the link given below in the description. And after downloading the file, you will have a main file like this. So, what I'm going to do is to extract the file here. Right click and select extract here. And all the files will be extracted here. And as you can see, there is a help guide and main files. So I'm going to click on the main file. And this is the main file actually we're going to work with. All right. So open the Photoshop. First of all, open an image that you're going to work on. Just drag and drop it. As you can see, here is mine. And go to the window and make sure that actions and layers are checked. All right. Here is my layer panel and here is my action panel. Make sure that these two are checked. So in this action panel, go to the menu bar and select load action and go to the location where you have just extracted the files. So here is mine. The action is loaded in Photoshop. Before we start, we need to make sure some settings of our images, if they are correct or not. First of all, in this layer panel, as you can see, this is the locked layer. This is a background layer actually. So maybe sometimes your layer will look like this. So to make it a background layer, just go to layer, new, and background from layer there we have it another thing we need to check is go to the image mode and select rgb color and 8 bits per channel just make sure these two things and we're good to go so as you can see our action is loaded here open the folder and you will find two version of these actions one is for the older version of photoshop and one is for the latest version of Photoshop. So if you run an older version of Photoshop like CS4, CS5, CS6, whatever, what starts with CS, then you will click on this icon. But if you run a newer version of Photoshop, which starts with CC 2015, 16, 18, 20, 22, whatever the version is, what starts with CC, you will click on this icon so as i'm running the version of 2022 so i'm going to click on this action and click this play icon and everything will be done automatically so let's see the magic boom as you can see here the action is applied on the image perfectly without any error so here is the thing you can change the saturation see you can change the saturation as you like you can increase it or decrease it however you like pretty cool right all right let's take a look at another example so maybe this image just drag and drop it into Photoshop. Select this action and click on this play button. See, the action is applied. And you can change the saturation of black and white. Or a desaturated or saturated. However you like. Also, it is a thing. You can add some grain or texture. Just make sure this eye is on. As you can see, some texture is applied on the image. But if you don't like it, you can hide it. See the difference. There are many options you can change. So that was all for today. Thanks a lot for your time. And if you want to receive this sort of file in future, just make sure that you have subscribed to this channel.